Hi there, my name is Stephanie and I'm the owner of this channel. And here on this channel, we share Canva tutorials, workarounds, hacks, whatever you want to call it. In today's video, we're going to look at how to edit and personalize a text box where you're going to want to include a body of text. And I'm thinking specifically in an ebook or a lead magnet format that you want to use your copied text in. Let's go and see how easily that is done. So here we have a Word document on our computer with random text that we want to create an ebook from. From here, what we're going to do in all probability is select them all, copy it all, go to Canva, open a Word or an A4 sized document. And from here, we're just going to paste, but oh my soul, this is not what we signed up for. This is absolutely atrocious. It's not what we want. I would suggest what you do is create yourself a page and decide how you're going to lay it out. Insert your text box. And there it is. Let's just get rid of that. Insert your text box and decide where you're going to place it. Now we're going to have some headings and we're going to have some subheadings and we're going to have a paragraph of text. Now, as you can see, all three of these text boxes are in Anton size 32. My headings are going to be in Anton 32. My subheadings, I am going to be making that in Arimo. And I'm going to make that a little bit smaller. And my paragraph text, I'm going to make, I'm going to make that into, let's make them Arimo as well. And that's going to be even smaller. So let's just go right down to 15. But now what you can see is each text box is still center aligned. Go ahead and left align it or right align it wherever you want to make it. Left align as well. This text box is a little bit off center. We can make our um, subheadings to appear over there. Now we have formatted and edited our text boxes the way it's supposed to be. So now what we can go and do, we can go back to our Word document and we can go and copy from there the heading, go back to our Canva design and insert that over there. And let's just give it some more space. And then there is a subheading. Let's go and see. No, there's no subheading. So we're not going to do that. We're going to take our text, control C, go back to Canva. And in our body of our text, of our document, we can now go and insert our text. And as you can see, it has been formatted for the specific box that it needs to be. Now, maybe you want to insert a graphic or a, a shape or something over here. And okay, so we don't have a we don't have a text uh, a subheading. Now maybe what we want to do is we want to create the, duplicate that and take that over there. And we'll go now to our next paragraph. Oh, but there's a subheading. Okay, so there's a subheading. Now what we should have done is we can actually undo, 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 undo. Bring that down. And we want to include our subheading over there. And we want that to be left aligned as well simply because left aligned is just going to make it so much easier. So now what we can do is we can copy this piece of text or the text box, insert it over there, go back to, go back to our Word document, take the text, 
copy it, go back to Canva, and insert it. And there your text, your heading has been formatted, your subheading has been formatted as well. So instead of looking like this, there's a heading over there, there's a heading there, a random space, a heading, another heading. Your document can now look like at least it has some thought to it instead of just copying the text randomly like that. So what do you think of this? Go ahead and share this video with those whom you think needs, it needs to be shared with. Don't forget to ring the bell, subscribe to my channel so that you're notified every time I upload a new video. All the very best and take care.